Mircea Ligulescu, founder of Matsoft Technology, and I'll present to you today an opportunity to make an investment which has the potential to return tens of millions, if not hundreds, over the next few years. Permit me to introduce myself. My involvement in the IT sector, and particularly in computer science, started a long time ago, during high school, when I managed to achieve outstanding results at the National and the International Olympiads in Computer Science, successfully be selected as part of the Romanian National Computer Science Team, and become a laureate of the International COI. During college, I successfully led the team to secure a fourth place at the very challenging ACM SERC contest, while pursuing a career at one of Romania's largest business software vendors, Civeco Romania where I ended up serving as product manager for MIS and Data Warehouse. In parallel, I pursued university studies at the, <coughs> at the renowned University of Bucharest, Faculty of Mathematics and Computer Science, all while successfully perfecting my MBA studies with the Open University Business School, which culminated with me being awarded a professional diploma in management degree with distinction, the highest possible appreciation. Drawing on my ability to interpret customers' needs and envision ways in which software technology can address those needs, I went on to seek financing for a startup developing a then never heard of PPM technology, which I managed to secure in 2009. I've been managing partner at Maps of Technology ever since. Uh, what my company is currently doing is working on a software package for modeling and executing uh, processes, basically workflows and uh, something along those lines. Processes to automate value-added activities and integrate intra- and inter-organizational activities seamlessly, making them fit together to produce an image was a big advantage. Basically, it makes companies run more smoothly. More smoothly. There are tremendous benefits for organizations implementing a BPM product suit, which justifies the rather considerable price tag. Uh, these fall mainly in the categories of strategic advantage, effectiveness, and efficiency improvements as well as crop cuts, cost cuts, especially reduction of full-time equivalents. While the emerging vision in the market as BPM is different from distributed computing initiatives like public and private cloud, mass of technology's vision, which I'm prepared to defend, is that BPMS and grid, not cloud, distributed computing can be supplied as a single product platform and generate tremendous benefits. Grid is different from cloud in that it goes with an environment made up of distinct autonomous actors rather than a single centralized controlling actor. We are unlike our competition in several ways. We have a better concept as a result of our elite collaborators. Uh, we can provide higher functionality, programmability and performance and we can do all that with lower production costs. As a result of these differences, we are basically harder and more expensive to imitate. The product suit is about 50% complete as of today. On this slide, you can see a screenshot from the latest build of the modular application featuring an open standard PPM style process model augmented by key concepts of mass of technology architecture like child transactions, data flow modeling, as well as a glimpse into our very complex property window. Due to mass of technology's unique architectural vision regarding the technical solution, it can successfully address two distinct but related markets, business process management system and grid services infrastructure markets. Virtually all the verticals can experience the benefit of mass of business suit, with the most relevant being shown on the slide. Uh, let me state clearly from the beginning that uh, Microsoft Technology product will be able to compete in the general market, so in the wider market, matching and sometimes outperforming existing BPMSs, including those from vendors like IBM, on a technical level. That being said, it's important to know there are two niches for Microsoft Technology is likely to make a more compelling case for its own products suit more easily. Organizations that do not require or cannot afford a too highly fragmented product offer and instead would prefer to have a single product suite that provides for all that BPM needs without expensive unwanted extras. This is mainly the case with medium-sized organizations. A second niche consists of very large actors which tend to benefit from, grid, from the grid computing orientation of mass of technologies business suite. As of a uh, 2010 study by BP Trend reveals, BPM is considerably priced with half of companies spending above $500,000 on BPM <coughs> initiatives. Of course, not all of that is license cost, but according to another study by Transformation and Innovation, about 25% is. 
The 2011 global market for BPMS was estimated to be roughly four or five billion dollars. That's billion. And Matsum Technology has the, the, the capability to adjudicate a share of this 30% per year growing by. These are Matsum Technology appraisals on the life cycle stages for grid services and BPMS markets that I'm prepared to justify. Our main competitors are Oracle and IBM, which acquired Lombardi in early 2010, both of which are typically competitive with our suit, but which experience a high degree of product fragmentation. After analyzing Microsoft software and VPN, Mass of Technology concluded that, for the moment, it is not a significant competitor in technical terms and can be considered a second tire supplier along with the rest. It might be interesting in the future. Uh, in developing the market with more vigor, perhaps by acquiring a smaller but more technically competitive player. It is also interesting to note that the PKM market is basically open to new entrants, with over 50% of the mind share being taken by vendors with less than 1% popularity. This is the diagram I want to use but to illustrate what I mean by fragmenting. So while everybody has a distinct product for each circle, we have like two products that cover the relevant bits of basically most of the circles. This is the company in which I'm offering you the opportunity to invest. It has already attracted about 130,000 euros to date, and due to its competitive value, it has succeeded in involving outstanding professionals in the programming and computer science fields in its R&D project. We pride by having former IOI laureates, former Google interns, and former Microsoft researchers working on our product too. A key asset of the company is the leadership and management provided by myself, the guy you know from the first slide. Let me stress out that by investing into maths of technology today, you're not only be getting what it is now, but, what it, but also what it will accomplish after the money using the investment. So, before the money, the value of the company comes from the partly completed product suite, which by far exceeds in market value the 130,000 euro invested so far, as well as its relationship architecture, and after the money, the, uh, its value increases substantially more by the substantially more than by the amount invested, with a BPMS grid infrastructure product worth in the tens of millions of dollars in production costs alone at market prices, as well as a realistic marketing strategy and an exit potential. <coughs> this is what we're asking for and uh, what we're prepared to offer in exchange. We have detailed uh, what we're going to do with that, so most of the investment is going to go into production costs to complete the suit as well as some marketing for the first for the 2012. Okay. Uh, these are some financial estimates that you can go into further detail. I'd like a projected annual return on investment of approximately 170% over five years. No questions? <coughs> no competitive over you didn't mention SAP. How was that? Oh, uh, we met. Okay. Uh, we mentioned the biggest players that are technically compared, comparable to our solution, to our that can compete in a, on a technical level as well, as well as on a commercial level with our solution. SAP is not a competitor, I think. SAP is a competitor. Actually, the market is very fragmented. Those are just the main uh, basic <coughs> shares. That what I presented there are the main competitors, so that's Oracle and IBM. And together with them, I suppose SAP falls into the same category of large vendors that have a very fragmented product offering. Uh, but, um, of course, we, in order to be profitable, and actually to be extremely profitable, we don't need to have a 100% market share, so we're, we can target like 10% uh, market share. Or, uh, actually, we can, be, we can break even and be pro profitable with only a 5% market share only in Romania. That's because we have very low production costs due to our culture.
uh, when will the product finish or it's 50 I understand that the product is 50, only 50 persons or already 50 persons. So uh, when, when will it be ready for the market? So, or is it already? No, uh, it will be ready for the market in nine months from the moment we continue yes. the investment. Okay. So. That's, that's the sign. Okay. And how many people are working now uh, at the product? There are five, 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 five people are working on this. Thank you. Uh, one question is, uh, same that I asked on Friday, which is, why, on what basis are you evaluating your company at uh, almost 800,000 today? Okay, uh, let me address that. Uh, first of all, we have a uh, very good culture and a very good relationship with our consultants, which allow us to materialize the investment a lot better than our competitors. So we're evaluating, as I said on the slide, uh, partly based on the partially completed products, which is, let's say, 50% of uh, a market value that goes in the tens of millions. So it's 50% complete now, and when it's 100%, when it's going to be 100% complete, it's going to be worth in the tens of millions. Just for a competitor to duplicate that technology. So it's gonna cost another a new entrant, it's gonna cost a new entrant 10, 10 million dollars or more to develop the technology that we can develop with other million. Okay, replacement value. And then the question, and then the question uh, answer is, why are you prepared to give a lower valuation for a bigger uh, amount of money? That's a bonus. That's I'm not sure I answer that question. So why do we give for more money? Why do we give more of the company? No, no, for more money you are prepared to accept the lower pre-money valuation. So the price of your company is lower if someone buys more shares in, in your company.